Wise is a Seattle, Washington-based company with about 30 employees. They are best known for their small, affordably priced wireless indoor cameras. Another of Wise's less popular products is the Wise Scale. It offers a range of fitness tracking features in addition to tracking your weight. It can also measure things such as your heart rate, body mass index, body fat percentage, bone mass, and more. Today we'll be taking apart the Wise Scale and seeing just how much tech they actually packed into a scale that carries the lightweight price tag of just $20. This video is not sponsored by Wise, nor is it endorsed by Wise. I originally ordered the Wise Scale, and when it arrived, it arrived effective. It would not power on. It would display for just a moment, and then turn off, and would not power back on. I submitted an RMA to WISE and they shipped one out very promptly. I asked if they would like this unit back and they said, no thanks, go ahead and recycle it. So before I send this to the recycling center, I'd like to take it apart and find out what's inside. I'm going to start by removing the two Phillips head screws, then I'll remove each of the four feet with a nice satisfying pop. These feet are what actually register your weight when you stand on the scale. There are four pressure sensitive sensors on all four corners that average out your weight to determine how much you weigh. With no disassembly guides on hand, I went ahead and started by trying to pry my way around using my slim pry tool, also known as a Sismo. Then we moved up to using the bigger guns with a large panel popper typically used for removing car stereo parts. Worked my way around, popping off all the tabs that held it in place, until finally the bottom panel was free and could pull away. Inside we see a lot of unused space with four pressure sensitive pads and an interesting spiral pattern. In the middle we've got two Phillips head screws. This I later found out actually holds on the logo on the top side of the device. I'm going to use my pry tool to pop out the metal plates detect your weight. There are three wires that run off of them and that is also how they say it measures things such as your body mass index and body fat percentage and heart rate uh, based off of these sensors sending electrical currents through the body and returning back into the device and based on the amount of resistance incurred it can measure such things as your bone density and other metrics. I'll remove the four screws that hold in the main circuit board here, which doubles as the LED panel on the other side. Once the four screws are removed from the main circuit board, we can pull it up and away. It does have four plastic posts that help to hold it in place and align it. But on the top of the LED panel, you'll be able to see that we have all the display information that illuminates when needed through the tinted glass panel that is the top plate got multiple strips of adhesive that hold in the wires and help to route them throughout the inside of the device. Next I wanted to see how easily I could remove the top panel from this midframe. Turns out that it was held in by multiple strips of double-sided adhesive, but after a lot of prying and a decent amount of force, we were able to get it to open with a resounding pop. With the two halves now separated, we can see the amount of double-sided tape that was placed around there. A good amount, nothing that needs to resist water or anything like that, just enough to hold it in place. We can also see that I pulled away the logo from the top panel there. Got our nice wise logo, we'll set that off to the side. Let's take a closer look now at the uh, circuit board that controls everything. There's not much to go off of other than this gold diode that says wake up on it few others that are labeled. Off to the left center it looks like we've got a small PCB with a IC on the top. I'm assuming that this is the main controller for the board and all of the data that feeds in from the four corner sensors is what gets processed in that chip. All in all the scale is an affordable option for anyone looking to track their weight. I don't have any devices to compare the other metrics to, but as far as the weight tracking goes, it's pretty spot on with any other scale. Thanks for joining me, I'll see you on the next one.